Hello folks, so this is Random Mig, alright? Hello, it's Miguel Alarcon, and this is to my other channel. It haven't been it has it has been a long time that I haven't posted a video through this channel. Most likely is because what's going on and let me tell you why if you jump in and see and see my face. Well, okay. Let me let me say about all this during this crisis in my quarantine and everything else. I might just say, you know. Uh, most likely I have been most likely doing things to have open up other channels. I have been very creative during these crises of the coronavirus. If it wasn't for that, I would have like you know I would have just have a girlfriend, and when I had a girl, if I had a girlfriend, it's gonna be like so much of a distance, or so what? I mean, I have met this woman, and most likely, if it weren't for this for this thing, you know, we have met and. Me and her would just meet together and dance with each other and you know learn things about each other and you know that but that's just plans for my dad like he plans to go to China I like and, and that could include Japan my, my most likely thing is Japan even though I wanted to go to Japan so I was using Duolingo and learning some Japanese and you know but uh, other than that I was doing the DJ Mike thing. So with the DJ Mike thing, but that was just help me out before before all this. I'm gonna tell this interesting story about me in my love life that has been such kind of never be to been started. That at this time it was supposed to be my start of my love life. You know, I have been looking online girlfriends and all this and that with Yahoo chat back in the day back in the day you know everything I mean I haven't met people right there and I have you didn't have the money but you know it's kind of it's kind of like kind of odd and kind of odd for me that if it were for me going to just saying you know going to college overseas if it wasn't for the condition that I'm at so the thing the thing that if it, if it were to be a different life you know I might say yeah, I might just go to college in Japan so I mean that would be like a whole different story with me though but this time it wasn't that but it was more of a story of trying to travel going to places that I wanted to go and I wanted to visit and then why I named this channel because I inspired by another youtuber who is who she is now married now and all it is she got into this political BS and I have uh, randomness I'm just saying you know you seen this the thing of all the random Yoko's first channel that's why I have did this channel so but now this is more like what I have done and what I, I have done during this time of crisis in this pandemic the thing is that I have seen to have you know liking somebody and the like I have seen Facebook you know in Instagram it's it is very nice and very well known to see that this is where you could meet people and what it is and not like you going to meet online but this it would be the time of my development of finding that you know significant other even though I couldn't find that significant other because I was just get, getting rejected right so put in that and put in that would be you know, I'm just saying that YouTube would be helping me now, and Bargo Man is helping me. So with the DJ Mike and and all that stuff, and going to Daily Motion, Daily Motion is an alternative that you could play music, and they don't let you have no copyright restrictions like in YouTube. 
So, DJ Mike and the DJ Mike show on Instagram. I have done that, you know, since, since, um, well, 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 well since I started again with, um, with Live Me. Live Me and even though I have a Twitch account and then I don't know if I'm going to start the DJ Max show on, on Twitch but then with with the Daily Motion I have done something with the Daily Motion in, the, in there so this is where I could go and act for you guys it says is to entertain you so whatever it is is that I have done to what it is. I was I had a crush with somebody. I know it, this would be odd to meet this person and she said meet me in in Osaka or or Kyoto and I just meet her and then uh, like things w before had she, she had blocked me, all right? So at the end, she blocked me. She told me because I told her to be careful and don't go out. Go out. You know what? If, even though if you block me, her name is Miwa. Miwa, if you block me, if you are coming to see me, look, I have sent something. I am doing something with my talent. I found it, my hidden talent, and you explore what I have within my hidden talent. And I would say this: I will have. You know, I, I have the urge and I'm thirsty to try something new and start something within my life. That's it. That's all I would have said to Miwa. So, um, yeah, her name is Miwa Watanabe, but Miwa Rose Linden Instagram. So, but she's a opera singer. So, but I have been with this DJ Mike show and I found that the audience or daily motion is like an, a, a, a YouTube alternative. Another YouTube alternative I found is Nico Nico. Uh, Nico Nico is uh, is based in Japan, but the thing, or the problem is they don't just want to close. Even though I'm learning Japanese with Duolingo, but this thing is that they don't have just an English language like so people let an English speaker or Spanish or Chinese or you know let other people discover what they do in their channel and that is where they could expand so people could be closed or companies who think oh yeah no we don't need a look Nico Nico if you need to expand thing you're gonna learn from daily motion daily motion even is based in France right learn from daily motion and and have an app for the Android and Apple devices, not just for the Switch, and let people discover what it is. Even though it's pretty awesome, but that's where I go. If I have if Nico Nico were open to everybody, then instead of calling myself the DJ Mike Show, I'll call my DJ Mike Fuego Beats because that's where I'm tending to go to my stepbrother's own name to Fuego Beats. So that's it, you know. I'm just gonna stay DJ Mike until I reach the top. Yeah, until I reach the top, trying to succeed. Other thing that I have mentioned to see of my hidden talent is that most likely I've been so well into saying, you know, I'm not the next Pavarotti, but you know, Pavarotti is the Michael Jordan of the opera world. So, so I have found in my hidden talent so I have seen that you, you, you know I've been practicing my own recital or recital I don't, or rec I don't know what I call it by practicing Bohemian Rhapsody right Bohemian Rhapsody is a song from Queen it's a crossover between opera and rock so what I have done is that I have practiced it with the with the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody, and I have discovered my deep voice is this is thunderbolts and lightning, very very frightening. That so I have done that, and then I just put it in small, and on small I'm just saying I'm going to discover my 
my hidden talent of like this is what it is right so I mean I mean I did that and I did it all the time about my small videos and singing and different people doing small I I am not paid in school but I don't have the VIP that you gotta pay and all that stuff small has been changing its app on and on and then you gotta pay go to the VIP or something like that so yeah it, it's cool it's cool to like have this type of app but the thing but the thing is it kind of sucks that they don't have like a group sing on Bohemian Rhapsody and that is where it sucks to do it but I might just do my own solo in my own thing with that you know just in front of this camera and with a tablet and singing Bohemian Rhapsody for you guys so it is what it is even though as they say, as they say, as they say that, you know, Michael Jordan is the best in bas basketball, and then the opera role, the equivalent would be Luciano Pavarotti, right? So, I mean, try to do that, and most likely I just set up and hearing, okay, well, Tokyo, you know, Tokyo, they canceled the Olympics. That's kind of sucks, right? It's kind of sucks because. Of, of all of all this of all that that is, has happened right this is the reason why I haven't have met my the right person or saying this is what I have seen this and the reason for this channel because of random Yoko inspiration and that's what you going in there you know, this is the why I named this channel about that but now that I'm just talking to you guys and talking to the audience, I'm talking to everybody. And then I have seen just the only town that I've seen interested in my Emmy is Fukuoka. All right. Um, I don't know why. Because right there, this is where this is like the perfect setup for a Robocop remake. To a perfect Robocop remake. That means like why in the world would they just film... The, I, mean, I mean the Matrix in Australia and why not the remake of Robocop be filmed in Japan it's because right there it's because the tower looks like the Delta City and I could imagine Delta City is okay the perfect setup for Delta City for a remake of Robocop you gotta be filmed in Japan and that's how I see that you know and then and then it's just after all and, and seeing people who just having their dreams come true and and whatnot to saying you know oh i'm gonna go to that certain country or whatever dreams come come true even though i have never been to college or whatever it is it's just me it's just me as pure of bad luck you know people want to go and travel different places and go in different countries and this and that so it is what it is so this seems they figure on love for one country after all it was it wasn't that easy until I read about it and then when I read a history about it it seems to be very beautiful traditions and all that stuff and then that's like more through love of the Orient more and then more of the love of the or towards the Orient I'm seeing Oh look, this is what it is. They make Godzilla movies. They make Hello Kitty. They make this and that, whatever, you know. Power Rangers. <laughs> so that's how I have this interest of like if I want to relate to the Orient or something like that, even though they have some things that I might not like, you know, like you know, killing themselves with the knives or um, or stabbing themselves or whatever it is so that's not just part of the orient that i not just seem to seeming kind of odd you know taking your own life away honorably you know it's not just that thing but the rest is just like you know seems very simple and criticizing all that stuff you know 
and this is the reason why this is kind of like is all messed up in occasions or something like that you know but hey you want to travel the world whatever it is so I mean this is kind of cool but I'm, I'm but I'm telling you if, but if you want to like yourself so people who want to go to the opera singing or something like that I'm tell, I'll tell you one thing to, to do a good song to practice you know practice with Bohemian Rhapsody is from Queen you know the brand is even though the band is from England you know Bohemian Rhapsody is this crossover between rock and opera and then this is where it is is in English English speakers or like something like that you you feel more comfortable and, and stuff to the language you understand so find something with the language you understand so I recommend Bohemian Rhapsody because I mean this is where it is so you practice with Bohemian Rhapsody and then you want to get into that you know I recommend you Bohemian Rhapsody so that's the song I recommend you if you want to get into singing or be the next tenor or like the next Pavarotti or something like that you know I, I just recommend Bohemian Rhapsody that's it <laughs> a song from Queen <laughs> so that's about it you know other than that is like if if I did with this Bohemian Rhapsody thing and there's other youtubers who have lived who are not from their country they are and they live in another country you know like yes I have been to other countries I have been to Colombia and I have been to Canada it's for one particular youtuber who been to Canada uh, I mean who is from Canada I've been to your country who is a chick by the way and what it is you know I have what, what it is I have saying I want to start something I'm gonna start the FTG you know I mean, I mean FTG you know uh, I mean T is for tenors G is for group F is the I mean for I mean Michaela F is stands for the town you are living so I'm like FTG and like find FTG and then like who's FTG the first thing I might do is getting some people singing Bohemian Rhapsody and they gotta find Miwa and meet her and I say or in, even though I know how to I, I learned how to dance tango a little bit and I got a little bit rusty because yeah this one thing is the thing that I want to do is before all that America's Got Talent Justina Zarek be my dance partner in this ATG thing you know but you know but after all everything has been like this thing with this quarantine or what I have done right everybody has have done something and this time it has made us very creative and once we become very creative in things so boom that's it I'm being very creative and being very creative during this time of quarantine even though that in Florida they said they want to open up shops they want to get people kids children to go to school and not stuff and uh, and why I'm worried about is like we're if we're number one with this contagious disease I have made a video call I'd rather see more gators than people in Florida I mean it makes kind of sense seeing more gators than people in Florida that means in other countries they see they have seen wildlife growing around my party you have seen a uh, lots of bears in California or some places that they have quarantine right you know they see lots of bears or deer or wildlife wildlife in general you know yeah, you know, probably in Africa they see a bunch of lions or something like that. You know, this is what I see about this harsh times. So, for a matter of fact, for a matter of fact, when I'm doing this video, is that I'm saying this is it, and this is what I am doing with random Meg, random Meg. I mean, I'm not. I don't want to just finish or terminate this channel I'm just gonna keep on going so what it is with this random maid supposedly that I should go different places and different you know I only have been in three countries in the world that's what's kind of odd and everything else it was an embargo man so what it is for all this stuff within my channel the first 
embargo man videos film outside the US was in Canada so that's kind of like remember back back in the day back in the day you know just I have done it and then just show around Canada right so in in one thing of more places to explore there's always places to explore there's always places to I have seen to explore and then more to relate it with a country in some particular place so in a way I mean some kinds sometimes when it comes to politics and sometimes you have people having their stupidity I don't know I'm not gonna name any countries in general when when it comes to political stupidity political stupidity might cause more harm than good and that's just saying this is just plain politics you know political stupidity so I know this is kind of odd this is kind of odd but sometimes this kind of political stupidity could cause more harms and all this mumbo jumbo and what else did they have like Netflix I have seen Narcos no I heard Narcos but Narcos they have Narcos that is based with something in based on a true story with uh, Pablo Escobar and stuff like that. and now they have Narcos Mexico and what's next and then they have anything related to Netflix it's like everything happens this political agenda to be cancelled and some things like that and and yeah and, and and then if they're supposed to make this the next narcos episode that has to be more fictional if it's more fictional it's gonna be more like jacuzzi related you know i have seen like jacuzzi related movies like black rain and stuff you know narcos has to be the next narcos episode after mexico it has to be jacuzzi related jacuzzi related because all where it starts is going to I mean the the beginning is would be more of a of these territorial disputes between Korea and Japan about two island rocks but is it means it has reunited the two Koreas uh, Ortega and Nicaragua is dead. The Yakuza are going to Central America, but then it starts with the dope dope is Korea land videos. But they're gonna start in Bogota, Colombia, doing the dope dope is Korea land thing, and then this is where the narcos Yakuza begins. So that would be a good option, like narcos Yakuza. Is about the Yakuza settling in things and drug dealing in Nicaragua after Ortega's death, and then I all and then when it begins, it begins in, in, in the starting lineup of all of this. They doing those Korea land campaign in Bogota, Colombia, and somebody's holding a sign of you know Colin Takashima is like calling San Andres belonging to Nicaragua, in written in Spanish, some sign in there in the beginning of that of that episode or you know you know when the, the intro when when it starts you know like i don't know what, it, what it's called and just you know, like the premiere or in or like the first episode that's just in the first episode because it's in the beginning that it starts like that it's just called narcos jacuzzi because it's a fictional character it's all fictional you know make it more interesting more fictional but this time you gotta go Yakuza related so yeah so the Yakuza uh, you know settle in with drug dealing in Central America and 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 all starts with people in Colombia doing that dope dope is Korea land march that's about it you know other than that you know more interesting thing I'm gonna have more dealing with snacks Japanese snacks on embargo man and that's about it you know I might just say stay tuned for more I don't know I don't know how long would be in this video but please stay tuned or just focus on embargo man 
you know, for now on, I'm just going to do this video on Random Meg, and that's about it. So, goodbye. Please subscribe to Random Meg, and don't forget to subscribe to the Embargo Man channel. And I hope to see this Narcos fictional characters, Jacuzza, you know, the, like, Narco, Narcos Jacuzza, but it's all going to start in Colombia with people right there doing the Dokdos Korea Land dance, you know. That's how Narcos Jacuzza gonna have their first episode you know so goodbye and peace out